uh, in this video we will be explaining about multi cylinder four stroke petrol engine uh, it's a four cylinder engine we can see that there are four ports it's a four cylinder engine so before explaining how it works let's see what are the major components an engine is having everybody will you must be aware about the oil filter for the cooling purpose you have to uh, in between you have to filter it also then there is a fuel pump another thing is when you come to this section we can see the timing gear section uh, here we can see the radiator fan which used to cool the radiator and another thing is that there is a cam if you come here there is a cam shaft is here which used to open uh, the rotor arm and all and here we can see an air filter and there is a carburetor assembly so air filter what carburetor actually does is it mixes with air and fuel and there is we can see that this is the intake system and here is the exhaust this is the exhaust pipe whatever the gases after burning it comes out of this for simulation purpose we are just giving a drive from an electric motor you can see that how the drive will be getting and here is the starter motor we know that when we actuate the starter motor the gear comes out and rotates the flywheel so this is the flywheel of the engine okay so okay let's come to the detailed work Engine, there are two basic parts. One is the engine head. This is called the engine head of the car, and this is called the base engine. And uh, okay, so we can see another some parts like this is called the rocker arm, whatever thing is that. And there is a shaft going inside this thing that is called a rocker arm shaft. And these things are called tappets, and this is called the push rod. Which actuate the intake and exhaust valve. This is exhaust valve. This is intake valve. So let's see in detail. So you can see that the piston is moving upward and downward. So it goes goes up to the TDC top dead center and goes down to the bottom dead center. In between, we that we can see that the piston ring slots. There will be four rings usually. Three compression ring and one oil ring. Compression ring is usually for maintaining the compression pressure in the cylinder, and oil ring is for wiping out the engine oil. Okay, to prevent it going to the compression chamber. If an engine oil goes to the compression chamber, there will be white type of smoke will coming out. That's not good for the engine. Okay, and we can see this is the engine cylinder, and there will be engine liner also there. It's, this is cylinder, and inside that engine liner, then piston working in that thing actually. So you can see that. This is going uh, okay. This is the compression stroke. The both the valves are closed, and this is the ex uh, expansion stroke is happened, and then it comes to the. This is compression stroke. Then it expands, and then burning after the exhaust will be going on, and again intake stroke will be coming. So we know that there four stroke engine. There are four stroke. One is the intake suction stroke. One is compression. One is expansion and burning. Compression after the ignition will happen, then expansion, then exhaust. Okay, this is exhaust valve and this is intake valve. And let's go. We see that there are push rods which actuates the rocker arm. Okay, so we can see that the push rods are activated by a cam shaft. So we can see the cam lobes. There are cam lobes. So there will be timing. We can set the cam shaft timing in, a, uh, in our so separately by using the timing gears. By that timing, it will. Open suction intake exhaust will be happening. The camshaft drive also we are getting from the. This is the camshaft here actually. The drive is getting from here actually. So then other thing is that in in uh, just below the camshaft we can see the crankshaft. So crankshaft is the main output where we are getting the rotary motion. Crankshaft is directly connected to the flywheel. Okay. Flywheel then clutch will come. From clutch there will be gearbox will be assembled. From there we will be taking the drive action. So there will be a crankshaft, there will be a camshaft, there will be push rods, uh, tappets, rocker arm, and one more important thing. You can see uh, the rocker arm is working actually. Okay, and there is we have to maintain some particular gap in between this tappets actually. It is using feeler gauges 0.6, 0.4. It, uh, it it's a very particular important commodity when we do in a uh, tappet setting. It varies from different different engine to different actually. For six cylinder it will be different, four cylinder different, and according to power it will be different. So after all. 
all the gases will be getting there, it will be exhausted through this exhaust gas, exhaust pipe. You can see the, this is the usually exhaust pipes are casted pipes. From here, it will be coming out through the muffler and out sound production and all those stuff. So, in general, uh, this is all about a working of a four-stroke petrol engine and hope you understand this. Thank you.